Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Samuel Sequal. You can call me Sam. I am a, a quantum application scientist here at INQ. And uh, today I'm going to work through, I'm going to walk you through the SKKU 2024 challenge that I prepared. Now, this challenge is about decade state preparation. Now, first, a little bit of uh, background. An end qubit Dicke state, short from D and K, is the equal superposition of all n cubic states with Hamming weight is equal to K. Now, the Hamming weight of a quantum state is simply the number of ones in the state. Here, I'm showing an example for the case n is equal to three and K is equal to two, as you can see here. So this is a, these are th three qubit basis states with two one in each one of the states. Now, these Dicke states can be used in topological data analysis and optimization problem with constraints. As I mentioned earlier, so this exercise introduces some of the steps needed to prepare such states. Now, let me move to the exercise, exercises. Number one, um, quantum phase estimation, or QPE, it can be used to measure the humming weight of a quantum state and prepare Dicke states. Now remember, measuring the humming weight of a quantum state is simply counting the number of ones in the qubit in the state. Okay, this um, I graded this. Um, I designated this problem as an easy part. A. Write down the Hamiltonians or eigenvalues can distinguish the humming weight of an n-qubit quantum state. So if you use this humming to Hamiltonian, the um, the eigenvalues will give you the exact coming weight of any n qubit quantum state. So just write down the formula for this particular Hamilton. Okay, part B, for an n cubic state, what is the minimum number of bits needed to measure the humming weight of a state? Okay, how many bits do you need to record the humming weight of a state? There is a hint here. The humming weight of a state is in the range zero, to one. So for n qubits, the humming weight of the state can be anywhere between zero and n. So zero and n. So how many bits are needed to measure the humming weight of the state? Number two. Okay. Using Qiskit, here you require to create a function that you know takes in a quantum state in a vector format as an input and returns a quantum circuit that measures the humming weight of the state. By this, I mean, if you just perform measurements on, on the quantum circuit that you created, you know, the result in the right register, if you measure the right register, the result should be the humming weight of the st input state. Now there's a hint here. You can see reference one, I'm gonna scroll down to reference one here. I just added this paper here. They have a few implementation of such circuits. So pick the one which uh, works for you. Now to prepare these initial states, because this function needs a quantum state in vector format. So if you have a vector format of a state to prepare this in Qiskit, you can use the initialize model you know, to initialize these states. I designated this problem as medium. Now on to number three, using the function that you created in part two above. Now, measure the humming weight of the following, following state. So assuming you have the correct quantum circuit from part two above, measure the humming weight of the following state. As you can see, A through D, okay? These are the quantum states you're supposed to return uh, the humming weight. For example, in part A, the humming weight should, this quantum circuit should return two, okay, because there's two ones in this, in this state. Now, in part E, here I'm asking you to explain the result of part C above. What do you get when you measure the quantum? What does the result mean when you measure the humming weight of this state in part C here? What does it mean? Just a little bit, a few lines, um, not a whole, paper about it. just a few lines what does the result mean in part c above now on to number four 
explain how the function of Bartobov can be used to prepare a Dickey state. So the same circuit um, that you prepare in Bartobov can be used to prepare a Dickey state. Now, how can it be used to prepare a Dickey state? Here, you need to think about what the input state should be so that you end up with the Dickey state. Okay, so I designate this program as medium. Now, number five, suppose um, we have this quantum circuit which can prepare any Dickey state. Suppose we want to prepare the Dickey state with n is 100 qubits and k is equal to 50. Okay. What is the probability of this state will be measured? Okay, that's part A. Hint here is in um, in a quantum circuit with equal superposition with a hundred uh, qubits, how many of the basis states will have fifty ones in them? Okay, and that you should use that info hint to uh, to calculate the probability that this state will be measured. In part B based on the probability above, what is the minimum of shots or measurements are required to at least, what is the least minimum number of measurements required to achieve this state, to measure this state, to achieve this state? And then in part C, the last part, how many gates are required for this particular circuit? Okay. Now in question number five, I designated this as hard. Okay. Um, that is a work through of the problems that I created. Uh, hopefully, you'll have fun trying to figure out the solutions for these problems. Thank you.